Hello everyone, Scott Blanchard here. I am going to do a quick demo of BizLocal, the installation process. And as you can see, I've got a fresh website here that I've just created. It's just got the default content in it and the default 2010 theme. So what I'm going to do is go to the plugins folder and click add new. And this is how you're going to install BizLocal. It installs as a plugin, and once you activate it, it's done. So I'm going to click Upload, choose File, and I've got BizLocal ready to go here. I'll just click on that, click Install Now. Okay, everything is being transferred over to the website now, and it's done, and all I need to do is activate. Okay, so once I click Activate, it's doing its magic and it's done and I can actually deactivate it because it's just a one and done plugin that does everything on activation now I'm gonna go ahead and click to open the home page in a new tab and there it is so you can see that the site is built I've got a slider widget that is automatically rotating here at the top and I can click on any one of these slides to keep it static at that point. I'll scroll down and you can see that the site is built uh, pretty much all there with the default content that I can then go in and edit. I've got my social media widgets, uh, I've got newsletter sign up, a little specials widget sidebar, the home page content, four sidebars at the bottom, uh, everything that you need to get a site up and running. And the cool thing about this is when you're demoing this to a client, you can on the fly show them various looks. I'm just going to click on Austin and you can see that the colors automatically change. The thumbnail changes to reflect the Austin template. And I'll just click on Save. Go back to the site, refresh, and there you go. You've got a completely different look and feel. Uh, you can go to any of the pages and see the inside pages here. This is your privacy policy page which is automatically installed for you. Uh, installs any page that you put in the template in the plugin package to begin with. So it'll install your pages and post anything that you've got in there, all your plugins uh, by default. So I'll go here and click on Biloxi, which is the only template you haven't seen in this demo and I'll go back and click on the home page you can see that the templates changed to Biloxi. Now really quick I'm just gonna go and add some interactivity or some flyouts to this menu. This is a WordPress custom menu that was installed for you by default. And you can get to that here at this menus tab and here's your menu. You can add pages or posts to it. As you add pages they show up here and you can just click on one and say add to menu. Uh, but I'm just gonna go up here and I'm gonna pull directions under contact us You see that so I just drug it drag and dropped it into place there and then click save menu and now when I go back onto the site you can see that it no longer appears on the top level and now it appears under contact us so that's a quick overview of the install process and we're done